What are you doing with those umbrellas? You didn't pay for those umbrellas. Did you pay for that, ma'am? I, I didn't see you go to the checkout line. Welcome to Walgreens. Please ignore the ransackers. Did you pay for that, sir? Just ran in here, stuffed his entire pockets filled with sushi, and dipped off. Yep. Nope. Go check out. Go check out. No stealing, brother. No stealing. No stealing. Give that back. Give that chocolate back. Give it back. Stop stealing from the store, mother. Get lost. Get the lost. I don't work here. I will kick your. Get lost. Thieves. Just try to run off. I'm sorry, America's like this right now. Wow. And that guy didn't even work there. But hey, under Bidenomics, everything is free until there's nothing left and there's a purge. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Luke Radowski here of We Are Change the Org, and there's a lot of absolutely crazy and wild news to get into today, as, of course, we have a lot of international protests, but a big grandstanding move being made by Texas that, of course, is dividing the nation. How far will it go? How strange will it get? Well, we're going to be talking about that, plus all the latest news here on this independent media broadcast. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you could get it on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast was from San Francisco, California, showing one man just uh, absolutely seeing the chaos that, that unfolds every single day at a Walgreens. As just within a few minutes that he was there, he was able to, to document multiple shoplifters, multiple criminals, no police officers, no response, uh, as of course, looting, stealing, and taking whatever you want is becoming more normalized by the day. As financially, we are dealing with more and more turbulence as local district attorneys, federal governments, all are normalizing the looting and stealing of businesses that are finding it harder and harder to survive. One of the biggest industries that right now is struggling more than ever is the ever so corrupted corporate media business. As just moments ago, we got information that Business Insider just laid off 8% of its workforce. As we also got pictures today of the LA Times newsroom highlighting uh, no one working there because they were all fired as well. This says the corporate media that, of course, divided us, spread division in this country, spread lies, misinformation, and propaganda for the benefit of the uber-rich and establishment are surprisingly not having any sympathy for their loss of labor. As, of course, recently the LA Times wrote some absolutely bewildering headlines that were incredibly aggressive against average, normal-day people that were just trying to live their lives. Taylor Lorenz, a journalist who was known for doxing individuals while living in her own paranoia, fierce state of germs and viruses recently came out and made this video. The entire journalism industry is basically in a free fall. Today, the Los Angeles Times laid off 115 employees. They wiped out their entire DC bureau in an election year. They laid off pretty much all of their sports teams. They killed their entire tech and business section. They laid off breaking news writers, social media editors. The list goes on. Good. Amazing. Please, let's have more. And she describes it as a journalism industry, as, it's, as of course, it's a propaganda industry that has failed time and time again in actually doing what they were supposed to be doing. And that, of course, is being the eyes and ears of the general public, as, of course, they have failed miserably to do so, as information is being politicized and weaponized more than ever, to the point where even the corporate establishment is dragging Jon Stewart out of retirement. And now he is expected to make a return to the Daily Show which he's going to be hosting Monday nights through the 2024 presidential election, a move most likely made by Viacom and other big industries in order to try to combat all the social media users and independent journalists that, of course, have been breaking the controlled narratives and psyops as soon as they arrive with facts, truth, and evidence. As, of course, a lot of things in our modern-day society are changing, and the people in charge aren't really happy about that. As, of course, even the Republican Party of old, John McCain, Mitt Romney, George W. Bush, is facing an internal revolution that is amazing and incredible to see. As, of course, we've been telling you that one of the best things that you could change is yourself, and that's the focus of what we talk about specifically on LukeUnfiltered.com. If you haven't signed up to our memberships, what are you waiting for? I can't implore you enough. 
to sign up. We have multiple tiers of uh, whatever your financial responsibilities are, just for $8, $15, $99, you name it. We have a tier for you where we will be going out of our way to provide you some of the most amazing services and offers of value that you can't get anywhere else. We're going to have a very special video right after this one talking about uh, some things that we cannot get into on this particular broadcast. That conversation, plus a lot more, all available just for members of LukeUnfiltered.com. As of course, we, we, we many times center, center our information around health, around wealth, about becoming the strongest, best version of yourself. This is a quasi-secret, not-so-secret society where we try to give you a lot of information that you could use in the real world. Three master classes, a crap list, a seed oil card, members only store, a forum to talk to like-minded individuals, and 10 years plus of videos that no one else has seen other than other members. In real life meetups also coming, AMAs, and also the ability to call in to our show, our new podcast show that is doing incredibly well, that members of LukeUnfiltered.com get to actively participate in. By signing up, you get the ability to call into the show and ask us whatever you want. The last few shows were absolutely incredible. We had the Libertarian presidential candidate on yesterday. Before that, we had James O'Keefe coming up. We have the libs of TikTok lady. We have Zuby. And today, 4 p.m. Eastern, we have Ben Stewart, an incredible individual, joining us in studio for a two-hour-long conversation that you get to be a part of by signing up to LukeUnfiltered.com. You haven't done that yet. What are you waiting for? Click the link right now in the description. Signing up. It's quick. It's easy. It's simple. You just got to fill out a little bit of information. We email back you lo your login, and then we see you right after this with a special broadcast just available to you as, of course, things are... Uh, Definitely getting pretty chaotic all around the world as we have new videos coming from France showing their farmers spraying manure on government buildings in the larger protest movement that's happening in Europe that's also now has spread to Poland, to Germany, and many other countries of a lot of everyday common people saying enough is enough as the UN globalist vision of a 2030 bureaucratic big state nanny centralized force is being envisioned by, of course, taking away people's ability to be self-sustainable. And what better way to do that than to attack the farmers? And there has been a direct attack against them. And this is why we're seeing such major protests all unfold in Europe. As the Financial Times is reporting that Brussels is struggling to placate the farmers and somehow trying to equate it to some far-right ideologies. Of course, that has nothing to do with these protests and has everything to do with the ruling establishment taking more and more away from these people. This, as of course, many populist protest movements are usually quailed by federal governments like they were in Canada where the government there imprisoned peaceful protesters, took away their bank accounts, and declared a national emergency that allowed them to do whatever they wanted to with the local populations. As a judge just ruled that that was unreasonable and unconstitutional, the Canadian government is now fighting that specific decree, as, of course, they want to make sure that they could do whatever they want with you and that they could declare an emergency whenever they want in order to do so. This says we have a very rare victory for civil liberties up in Canada, as here in the United States of A, there's a similar, very uh, populist struggle happening right now with the state of Texas taking matters into their own hands and defying the federal government and the U.S. Supreme Court and protecting their borders. In response to this, the federal government has wagged their finger and said that they're actually leading to a situation that will cause people to lose their lives somehow. And their rhetoric is absolutely escalating as everyone awaits what their next move will be. As Texas is in full defiance of the federal government with other states like Montana, South Dakota, Missouri, Oklahoma, Virginia, Georgia, and Florida now vocally and politically putting their support behind Texas, saying that they stand with them. This says, of course, the war of words is definitely heating up, especially with the very aggressive actions being made by the Biden administration and DOJ that have specifically been going after Republicans, supporters of the previous president of the United States, and the president himself who's facing 750 years in jail. This says, of course, there's a lot more to this border crisis than what we're being told. And what's happening right now in Texas could very quickly spiral out of control. 
And let's be honest here, we all hope that that, of course, does not happen. This, as the governor of Texas also released a very strongly written letter to the federal government, which, of course, the Republicans love to do, but, but also actually met it with actions, as, of course, the next move by the federal government could be forcibly allowing the border to be open in order to allow people to just walk into the United States. Now, will they go as far as that? Well, only time will tell. Will federal troops be sent to deal with the Texas National Guard? Will the Texas N National Guard be seized by the federal government? Will there even be any kind of response here by Joe Biden, who probably is taking a nap right now and unaware of anything around him? What's going to be the next move made here? Well, what do you think is going to be happening? Let me know down in the comment section below, as of course, this is a very tumultuous situation. That personally, I, I hope, de-escalates from here. As, of course, there's a lot at stake here. We have a very crazy election cycle. We have the weaponization of the judicial system. And we're all living in crazy times that in, in any moment could become a lot more crazier than what we're dealing with right now. Times are crazy, and they're only going to get a lot crazier from here. And if you agree, you also want to try to de-escalate it. Share this video with your friends and family members. As of course, us talking about it, us us. Having conversations about it are more crucial than ever. Curious to see what you guys will say in the comment section below. One more video coming your way on LukeUnfiltered.com. One more podcast coming your way in 4 p.m. Eastern. Stay tuned for that, plus a lot more. Click the subscribe button and the notification button. See you right now on LukeUnfiltered.com. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys signing up, and this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more.